welcome and in this video we are going to be looking at hardware technologies so we start with the lpfk or the lighted program function keyboard and it was a computer input device manufactured by ibm which had various lights and was programmable that what would happen on pressing a key and sometimes lights were also present under these keys and hence it was given this name but today we have the SDSX card with the secure digital extended capacity format and it is a non volatile memory card format developed by the SD card association this format was announced in january 2009 and supports microsoft xfat file system now let us look at some printer technology starting with the thermal printer and it was a type of printer which works by striking heated pins to heat sensitive page in order to print we also have the dot matrix printer and it uses a print head which moves back and forth on the page and prints by impact that is striking an in coated cloth ribbon against the paper much like a typewriter but today mostly we are using the inkjet printers and hence we should also look at the technologies used in continuous inkjet printers first we have the thermal bubble HP and Canon use this bubble jet process tiny resistors are put at the mouth of the nozzles and when they get heated up due to electricity they vaporize the ink and the lit ink gets out of the nozzle but there is also this piezoelectric technology and it is patented by Epson it uses piezo crystals which when to see the charge vibrate and that causes some ink to ooze out next we'll look at motherboard form factors and by form factors i mean the standard sizes which are available in the market two main ones are the ATX and the ITX ATX standard for advanced technology extended and it was developed by Intel and was the first major change it is the most commonly used form factor we also have the ITX for information technology extended and was developed by Via Technologies and was a low power motherboard form factor now let us look at the wires that connect hard drive to the motherboard we have the SATA and the SAS SATA or serial AT attachment is a computer bus interface which is inexpensive has a large storage capacity but the data transfer rate is less it is used in home PCs they do not need specific drivers as OS automatically detects them multipliers may be used and they can directly connect to the motherboard eliminating jumpers maximum cable length can be up to 1 meter for a SATA cable we also have the SAS or the serial attached SCSI where SCSI stand for small computer system interface and it is a protocol that is used in enterprise and server computers which have faster data transfer rate but are expensive have low storage capacity and consume more power and it is now considered a legacy board like we had the motherboard form factors we also have the hard disk form factors and the main ones that we use today are the 3.5 inch which are used in desktop and have the maximum capacity of 8 terabytes in laptops and mobile devices and music players we often use the 2.5 inch hard drives and they are also used in playstation and xbox 360 video game consoles and they have the maximum capacity of 4 terabyte and 1.8 inch hard drive it is going to become obsolete and was introduced for digital audio players and sub notebooks At last we are going to look at type of plotters and first we have the drum plotter it consists of a long cylinder and a movable pen carriage the medium moves up and down while the pen moves left and right we also have the micro grip plotters they do not use drums but the medium is gripped from the sides by the pinch wheel and they give it a back and forth movement high performance is attained with these type of plotters with low cost And finally we have the flat bed plotters and such plotters use horizontal flat surface on which pen moves in both x and y direction. 